Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the compass of crosslight and GPS TS100 and change the direction of GPS. Here is a mini GPS radio link TS100. Connect it to GPS port of crosslight. Here it is. And there are two tips when calibrating the compass with GPS. And please fix the GPS and flight controller together when compass calibration. And we can see there is an arrow on GPS. And also the arrow on cross flight. The two arrows should point in the same direction. If the arrow direction of GPS and cross flight is different, the compass calibration will never be successful. So for compass calibration, please make sure the arrow direction of GPS and flight controller is the same and GPS and flight controller are fixed together. Now connect cross flight to the computer via a USB cable. The COM port is COM11 and the board rate is 115,200. Connect. And connect it now. Set up. Mandatory hardware. Campers. And we can see there are two compasses. The first one is built in compass, which stands for cross flight. And the second one is external compass, which stands for your GPS. And then fix cross flight and GPS with the arrow towards the same direction. And click start to calibrate the compass. Then hold tightly on cross flight and GPS. Then turn them in all directions in the air. When the red bar reaches the end, there will be a notice. Click OK and the campus calibration is down. And then you can reboot the flight controller to use it. And when installing cross flight and GPS on helicopter or fixed wing, some people will install the two devices like this. And with cross flight, uh, with cross flight point forward and the GPS point backward in the tail. And you can also keep cross flight and uh, GPS far away from the frame. In this case, we need to modify parameters in full parameter list. config for parameter list and we need to search campus orient to and please note here campus orient stands for the campus of Cross flight, and we need to modify the orientation of GPS. So we need to modify campus orient too. And options. Here are some parameters related to your. It is the orientation of the campus. For example, your 45 means GPS rotates 45 degree clockwise, and when Cross flight point, points forward while GPS points backward, and we can see the GPS rotates 180 degrees clockwise. So we need to select your 180 and then click right parameters to save the modification. Then go back to setup campus. And we can see the orientation of the external GPS. Here is your 180. 
Then we can calibrate the campus, and when calibrating it, we should make sure the arrow uh, crossfight points forward and the GPS points backward. And the calibration method is the same. Turn them in all directions in the air and click OK when the red bars reach its end. So that's all about how to calibrate the campus of crossfight with TS100 GPS.